Okay, welcome everyone. And thank you for joining us today. My name is Denise Darienzo. I'm the Director of Channel Marketing here at Netaphone, and I'm going to be your MC today for this webinar. So we're going to talk about Microsoft Teams, and um, there's a Q&A window to the right-hand side of your screen. So if you have any questions during the presentation, feel free to write them in there, and we'll answer them live um, or within the chat. So you may have seen that Netaphone recently announced an integration with Microsoft Teams and that we're offering our Teams global calling plan free for 90 days. So hopefully that's why you're all here today. Actually, it was back in November that Microsoft Teams announced they had over 20 million active Microsoft Teams users on a daily basis. And so if that wasn't already a lot of people, that number has surged in recent weeks, as you can imagine, with the new need to collaborate with each other, boundaryless and from home. And they're now actually at 44 million daily active users. So what does that mean? Well, it's likely that you are one of those 44 million users. Either you have a Microsoft Teams license already and you're looking to get the most out of your system, or maybe you're a managed service provider or an IT consultant or a partner of Netaphone, and you're looking for some solutions that you can offer to your business and enterprise customers who are already using Microsoft Teams. And that's where Netaphone can help. And today we're gonna to show you how. So I'd like to introduce you to some of our Netaphone rock stars. We've got Will Weinrob, Scott Leesdell, and David Nall. And they're here today to show you how to integrate Microsoft Teams and enable the Netaphone Global Calling Plan. Take it away, Will. All right, awesome. Thank you, Denise, really appreciate that. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, as Denise mentioned, a lot of things changing, obviously with the social climate and things that are happening out in the world, we're all getting used to new workflows and ways we could work uh, remotely more efficiently. And Microsoft Teams is one of those. I mean, Microsoft Teams, um, you know, is, is a fairly new application from Microsoft that's, you know, taken off and skyrocketing in usage. Uh, as Denise mentioned, the numbers that they're seeing are absolutely crazy. Uh, and it's a great product. Uh, it has some limitations to it as far as things that it can do. And we're really proud uh, of what we've launched with our uh, Microsoft Teams integration so that now we can take Microsoft Teams a step further and you can use some added capabilities that Microsoft Teams on its own might not have had. So we'll take you through that in this webinar and just really quickly an overview of some of the things that we'll cover. Uh, we'll go through an overview of Netaphone plus Microsoft Teams. Uh, we'll talk about what linking your telephony system with MS Teams actually means because it might not be uh, straightforward and ways that this could be useful for your business. We'll do a quick demo of the integration. We'll actually take you into Microsoft Teams so you could see exactly how to leverage it and how to use it. Uh, and then we'll go into the admin capability capabilities and tools. There's actually a lot of things that you take a look at as an admin uh, on MS Teams and think, you know, ways you can monitor your team's usage and things like that. And then we'll go into a little bit of a Q&A. Um, we'll try to get to that as quickly as possible because I know the Q&A section is uh, usually where a lot of uh, you know, the value resides and we want to make sure that we have enough time to answer all of your questions. So let's go ahead and take a quick overview. First things first, Microsoft Teams. So again, we want to give you an overview of Microsoft Teams and what it is uh, before we take you into it. Microsoft Teams is essentially an internal chat tool. If you've used Slack, you kind of have a, you have a, a, a notion of like what this could be. It's a way for you to communicate with your team um, quickly and efficiently through a chat-based system. Uh, and it's also included in the Microsoft Office 365 platform. So a lot of people are Office 365 subscribers and they don't even know that they have a Teams license because it's already bundled in the package. So, you know, heads up, if you have an Office 365 subscription, you technically have Microsoft Teams and you could utilize that to communicate with your team more efficiently. And through Netaphone, uh, what we do is we enable the external portion of that. All right, because Microsoft Teams, again, it's an internal communication tool. What we do is we enable you to communicate now externally. So what will happen usually is if you're using an internal chat tool like Microsoft Teams, you're going to be spending a lot of time in that particular piece of software. It's where a lot of productivity is going to happen. Uh, but it's limited to just communicating with your team. And because you're spending so much time in that application, 
wouldn't it be great if you can communicate with your customers uh, externally as well using the exact same interface? And that's what Netsophone for Microsoft Teams enables. It enables you to have uh, inbound and outbound calling functionality baked into the same application that you're going to be spending a lot of time in. So we'll take you through that and show you exactly how that works. Netophone for Microsoft Teams comes in two flavors, MS Direct Routing plus Direct Routing and our Cloud PBX solution. We'll talk about that a little bit more later on in the presentation, but first I wanna give you an idea about how uh, this actually works. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. So I'm gonna go into Microsoft Teams. Let me show you what that looks like. So now you can see my screen here. So this is Microsoft Teams. This is what the interface looks like. Uh, very straightforward, in my opinion, very nicely designed, very clean, easy to, easy to manage uh, and nicely laid out. You have all your chats here. So if you had a big organization or a bunch of different people working with you, you would see all your chats that you can manage here, share files, see the activity, et cetera. You could also have calendar integration and things like that. We're not gonna take a too big of an in-depth look into all the features of Microsoft Teams, but you know it is a very robust piece of software and feel free to, to explore it once you log in. What we wanna highlight here is the, the calling feature because that's where uh, you know, Netophone for Microsoft Teams really shines and where it lives. So here, once you've enabled Netophone for Microsoft Teams, what you'll see enabled is a keypad. You wouldn't see this keypad if you didn't have the uh, telephony aspect enabled. So here, this is my Netophone number. I've ported it over, and here you can actually see my Netophone number. In this case, it's 973-438-5059. And now I have the power of using Netophone right inside of Microsoft Teams, which is super convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call my number just so you can see what the calls look like. I can enter it using my keyboard, and my phone is ringing. I'll go ahead and answer the call. Just mute that here. So now we have an, uh, an active call happening right inside of Microsoft Teams. And on the back end, this is actually powered by Netophone, which is really cool. So we have some basic uh, functionality here. I could bring up the keypad in case I have any in-call prompts. I can you know, go and transfer this call. I can do a consult then transfer or do a blind transfer. I could put the call on hold um, and also show a few device settings. And then I can end the call, obviously. So I'm leaving the call. Then I can actually show you what it looks like to get an incoming call. I'm gonna call my Netophone number now. And again, this is my same Netophone number. Again, here you can see, I'm getting an incoming call here and I can answer that just the same. So really convenient to have this functionality and to have my Netophone number you know, baked into the chat as well. Uh, this also enables extension to extension uh, calling as well. So if I just wanted to pop in an extension here, I could easily do that. So for example, if I wanted to dial David, I could just call his extension right there. This is just extension to extension calling and he'd be able to pick up and we'd be able to have that conversation right there. Hey, David. Hey, good, good. Thank you for answering. David, in a second, he's gonna take us through the admin port up presentation but that is a quick look into Microsoft Teams and the interface uh, we think you get a lot of value out of it uh, so the next thing I'll go back here to my presentation uh, I want to talk about the license breakdown that's really important because Microsoft offers a lot of different plans and licenses for Office 365 there's just not one Office 365 license and depending on the license that you have you, you might need an add-on for Microsoft to enable calling inside of Microsoft Teams. So just a quick breakdown, I hope this is uh, convenient and easy to read, but just a quick overview. If you have Office 365 Business Essentials and Office 365 Business Premium, you're gonna need to purchase the common area phone license from Microsoft, and you could buy that just simply as an add-on through Microsoft. If you're on Office 365 E1 or E3, these are their enterprise plans, then you need to purchase what is called the phone system license from Microsoft. Again, it's just an add-on. And if you're on Office 365 E5, you don't need to do anything. You're all set. It supports telephony right out of the gate and you can plug net the phone right in. So on that note, I'm gonna hand it over to David Nall who is going to take you through the admin capabilities of net the phone for Microsoft Teams. And you can just see how powerful this is and how easy it is to use. So David, if you take it away, I'll stop sharing my screen. You can share yours. All right. And hello, everyone. Thank you, Will. 
And if I hit the share button, it helps. <laughs> All right, so everybody should see the uh, the management screen. Yep, perfect. And so this is the admin website and it allows you to configure the connection between the phone service and your NetPhones team's users. So the website relieves you of having to switch between one screen and another screen in the team's environment just to set up the particular users. We've, we've got all that automated for you, which makes it very easy to provision and add users to the system and also manage users to, in the system. So the initial piece of the puzzle is we've got the services section here, and this is where we actually set up the service. And then we ask you to uh, enable the synchronization function. This allows us to talk to the team's environment to grab the information about the users. And then from the users section, after the synchronization is complete, you'll get this green check sync now. And you then go to the add user section. You hit a drop down and you'd see any users that were phone enabled that have not already been provisioned within the system. You can assign the user number to them. Uh, we've got a variety set up on this one. So uh, we'll do that one. You put in the user, the SIP username, the auth username and the password, and you click add and that person is added to the system. And then after you've done all the changes, all the ads uh, within the environment, then you go up here and you click the sync now button, which would, which would have turned blue because you've made changes. And then that would resynchronize all the changes back into the team's environment for, the, uh, for them to take effect with the individual users. Additional information you get from this uh, admin interface is you get information about calls that have been made by this person. So I can actually mouse over the, the section here, shows that I've had inbound and outbound calls. And if I can check the call log here, it actually gives additional details about inbound and outbound calls. And it gives you a little bit of information about where the calls have come from and to, and whether I've answered them and let them answer them elsewhere or let them go to voicemail. And then I can also get additional details about the, uh, the calls that were made. So. There we go. So it gives me even more detail about the information. And so within that environment, uh, this is the steps you need to take through to update the information within the team's environment. So you don't have to end up again, switching between web page and web page, trying to figure out what settings you need to do. We've got it all integrated into this one administration environment. And the great thing is, that's what the sync, sync Now button does. It allows you to grab the information from the team's environment, modify it as you need, and then write the information back to the team's environment. And, and, that, and, and David, I think one of, the things worth, one of the things I think also worth mentioning that if you wouldn't have this interface that we're providing, you would have to write something in a script called PowerShell, right? Uh, uh, you have to know how to do that, which is, you know, what the big benefits of this platform is out of the box, really easy to manage users. Can you show people if you could go on the drop down on one of the users real quick, one of the arrows to the left of the name, you can see exactly what, what I mean by that. Um, you know, there's just like a, a, a scroll up. I'm sorry, scroll up. You can actually scroll up and go to the, the sync button, the sync now and the arrow next to sync now. Yep. Show sync history and just do the drop down right there. Yep. So that's a script called PowerShell. And this is what you would have to do normally if it wasn't for the NetsPhone integration. So what we've done here is we've made a clean interface for you just to add the users, really simple. And then as David said, you just hit that sync now button and then we do all the work on the back end for you. So it's simple and easy to use. All right, thank you, David, appreciate it. Anything else you wanna cover here from an admin perspective? That is pretty much it. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Let me go ahead and uh, if you stop sharing your screen, I can go ahead and share mine. All right. And hang on just a second. Let me get to the right screen so I can undo, undo what I've been doing here. <laughs> thank you for that presentation. That was really helpful. There we go. All right. Great. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen again. All righty. So 
another thing that I think that's worth noting, we talked a little bit about that uh, this early in the presentation, but we have two different flavors that we offer uh, Netophone for Microsoft Teams. We offer MS Direct Routing, which is again, the, the pure telephony based uh, part of the, the offering. So if you have Microsoft Teams and you live in Microsoft Teams, this would be very useful because it just plugs Netophone in the back end. You get all the great functionality of Netophone, the unlimited international calling through the countries that we support, number porting, and that five-star service that Netophone's known for. You know that on the back end of Microsoft Teams, you have you know an incredible uh, telephony partner to work with you there. And then we also offer uh, MS Direct Routing plus our Cloud PBX solution. What this does is it gives you all the functionality inside of Microsoft Teams as well, but it also allows all the other capabilities that our Cloud PBX feature and solution brings to you, such as SMS and MMS messaging, live chat, uh, you know, your welcome greetings, uh, and also all the things that if you wanted to use our other Netophone solution and app, you could have that as well. So we have over 40 advanced features uh, you know, for your, your virtual phone number and you can manage it all via the cloud as well. So you have two different offerings depending on what you need, we have a solution for you. So with that, uh, I'd like to open it up to Q&A. So uh, just real quick, Zoom has a question and answer feature baked right into it. If you see at the bottom of your screen, there's a little Q&A tab. I, th I see some of you writing in the chat. We'll try to get to those. But if you can, try to put your questions in the Q&A uh, section there. It's just easier for all the panelists to see it. It's easier, easier for us to manage the questions as they come in. So please feel free to uh, enter in your questions, and we'll answer them as they come in. Hey, Will, this is Scott. We do have one question from Kurt, uh, who asked if uh, once you integrate Net2Phone with Teams, does, this, does Teams replace the Net2Phone native chat capabilities? Do you want to answer that or do you want me to take it? Take it away, Scott. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Uh, so, Kurt, the answer is uh, no, it does not. So, the, the um, native chat that you're referring to is how you phrase it in your question uh, within Net2Phone is actually SMS-based uh, messaging. So if you have customers that you want to be able to send you a text message, uh, you can do that. All of our uh, net -to phone phone numbers are SMS-enabled right out of the box. So whether it's your company's main number or an individual user's uh, telephone number within your organization, they can send and receive text messages. That's actually really separate from uh, the Microsoft Teams product. Teams allows internal collaboration and messaging, uh, and, but it is not SMS-based. So hopefully that answers your question. Thanks, Scott. Uh, another question that's coming in is, if a prospect already has Microsoft Teams, can we plug in Netophone to that? Um, I'll, I'll take that one as well. Um, so if a prospect already has Teams, can we plug Netophone into that? Um, I'm not 100% sure exactly what you mean, but I think, so I hope I'm getting this right. I'm gonna make some assumptions here. I think what you're asking is, um, if, if you buy the Netophone, can you plug the messaging within Netophone into Teams so that you can collaborate with other companies that also have Teams? Uh, if I'm understanding your question correctly, uh, the answer is, is no. Um, the, again, the two systems are very different. Um, the Netophone messaging system is all SMS-based, and Teams is, is not SMS-based. So the, those two uh, systems are, are sort of fundamentally incompatible in that way. Okay, another question is um, if we can show an example of what a multi-user conference call looks like. Uh, Will, are you able to, to demo a multi-user conference call in Teams? You've got Teams up there, but sure. Let me go give I don't know if you have here, the ability right? to demo that. All right, so go into my calls and let's see again. Any for a call. All right. 
So here, so from a, um, from a pure call perspective, you're able to transfer the, the chats here. And then if I want to invite someone else to this call, I could just type in my contact and then add them to the call this way. So you can see now I'm adding David and all to the conversation. So that's what it would look like. You would have this ability here on the right side to invite other participants to the call. Hope that answers your question. All right. <laughs> Thank you, David. Okay, another question is um, what type of licensing do Teams users need to have in order to enable this Netophone feature? What type of licensing for, for, for Netophone or for Microsoft Teams? Teams. So uh, going back over these different licensing plans, you would need essentially one of these, Office 365 Business Essentials, Business Premium, E1, E3, or E5. Office 365 comes in a lot of different flavors. So either you're here on the business plan or the enterprise plan, and then depending on which plan you're on, you would have to buy the uh, appropriate add-on. So you can see we have uh, material here to show you exactly which add-on from Microsoft you would need, and then you'd be able to plug in the, uh, the solution from net to phone right into it. Okay, can you have both an office phone and Teams? Yes, absolutely. That's one of the, the benefits of this is that, you know, if you're, if you're plugged into here, you could have your phone in your office, your, your cell phone, it, you know, all of it ties in together. So it's really, where are you currently working from? It'll just give you that added convenience to add the to answer the call from wherever you are. So if you're by your desk, feel free to answer it on your desk. If you're in MS Teams, just answer it there. This is all about adding that level of convenience. And back to the um, conference calls, what's the maximum amount or number of users that can be on the conference call? That is a great question. I have to double check that one. So uh, we'll follow up with that person after the call. So we'll if, make it's sure you a, get an answer. if it's a multi-user conference call, um, can you just clarify if that's going through the Netophone functionality or if it's going to be using the Teams functionality? So all telephone calls, whether it's a single user or multi-user, will be handled through Netophone. And then I think it's important to point out too, some people are asking about um, you know, web and video and chat and things that, that Teams provides that they'll continue to provide and the integration with Netophone is, is a voice piece if you guys wanna just clarify that a little bit. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. Uh, the integration with Netophone simply extends Microsoft Teams, adding new capabilities to have embedded uh, telephony capabilities. It does not restrict or modify Teams native functionality around video conferencing, uh, chat, or, or any of those uh, capabilities. Uh, there is one question that's posted in the in the chat session that I think is important to bring up. Uh, the question is, does each user in Teams have to enter their own net -to phone account info individually in order to connect their own extension? The, the answer is, is no. Uh, an administrator has to set up each one of those users. The users really have to do nothing. Um, David, when he did the demo, showed uh, um, how you would add a user. The admin would just have to go in and, and add those users uh, that have the appropriate licenses for MS Teams, and, and the users have to do nothing. They'll just uh, be set up uh, automatically. Uh, everything in, inside their Microsoft Teams uh, UI, inside whether they use the, the thick client or the web client, uh, will just uh, automatically appear. Right there, That phone dialer that Will showed uh, will just automatically appear for them. The user has to do nothing.
Okay. Um, there's, this is kind of a two part question, even though it's from two different people, but I think you could probably answer it in one answer. Um, the, the question or confusion is that, is this for users who really are using only their laptop for their calling needs or how can they use their desk phone or the mobile app along with this integration? And what handsets are available if they do want to have a physical phone? So the, the, the options are, are many is, is kind of the short answer. Um, the, this, this capability of integrating net to phone uh, with Microsoft Teams simply allows a lot more flexibility for each of the Microsoft Teams users. Typically Teams users um, are sitting at a desk, but oftentimes they're, they're mobile. Um, so the capability that with net to phone allows them to send and re or make and receive calls uh, just as if they were sitting at their desk, whether they're actually sitting at their desk or not. If they are sitting at the desk, they can make and receive those calls via a traditional like polycom type device uh, that's sitting on their desktop. Net2Phone uh, supports all of that. So you can bring your own device, you can get devices through Net2Phone uh, to sit on the desktop, but the, 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 the integrated capability between Net2Phone and Teams allows you to have the same capability to make and receive those calls no matter where you are. And that is true also on the mobile app as De Denise mentioned. Uh, so whether you, you, you know, you're on your laptop, it happened to be in a, in a cafe somewhere, maybe not these days, but <laughs> back in the day, you could do that and sort of get away with it. Or whether you're in the car and, and you want to take a, a call on your, on your cellular device, uh, you can do all of that. It's all very seamless because of the integration between Microsoft Teams and net to phone um, the other question, sorry, there was a part of that I missed, uh, headsets. Uh, the headsets are, are, are totally dependent upon what physical device you may have sitting on your desktop, uh, but any other Bluetooth or USB wired device would obviously work with either your mobile phone or your uh, uh, PC or laptop. I think it might be um, a good time to just kind of go over, you know, obviously there are providers who offer a Microsoft Teams voice integration as well, um, including Microsoft themselves. But can we highlight what the benefit is and why Metaphone is the better option for integrating with Microsoft Teams and some of the other options out there? I feel like I've been uh, sort of dominating the answers here. So I wanted to give a second for anybody to jump in, but since nobody jumped in, I'll, I'll jump in and, and take my best stab at answering that. One of the key things there, so Denise is exactly right. There are other um, third party vendors out there that integrate with Teams and provide some telephony services. One of the things that really sets net to phone apart is our simplicity. Uh, we believe that uh, in order to set up and maintain a, a telephone system, you shouldn't have to be a rocket scientist. Apparently some of our competitors uh, like the fact that maybe they are rec rocket scientists and want uh, to educate all their other, their, their customers to be the same. Um, if you tried to, to set up one of the other competitors products, what you'd find is you'd have to become what's called a PowerShell expert. If you're familiar with Microsoft, you'll know that they love PowerShell and with good reason. It's a very powerful uh, tool, but it's also very complicated and difficult to learn. Uh, there are a, a, uh, dozen or so different PowerShell commands you would have to learn and use and 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 do in order to set up uh, a single user to work an integrated way between a hosted PBX solution like net to phone and Microsoft Teams. One of the things that when David was doing his demo, he showed you was the, the call log. Uh, and, and one of the things that's buried underneath there is all of the PowerShell commands that actually get run behind the scenes to enable those users to be set up and provisioned. We do all of that hard work for you. It's literally, you know, it's, it's a lot of work and a lot of time. I was gonna say it's like an hour, you know, it's hours worth of work, but it depends on how many users you wanna set up, but it can be hours and hours and hours of, of pretty um, boring and, and very highly technical work. We make all of that very simple. It's all behind one little sync button. Just press that button. We do all that work and, and you're, you're up and running and it's done. So that's one of the, the main differences. Obviously, the other main differences between us and some of the other uh, uh, telephony providers is we provide unlimited access to 40 plus countries around the world. So it's unlimited calling uh, to or from any of those countries. And uh, if you buy the, the uh, MS Teams routing plus uh, net to phone uh, 
cloud PBX option we talked about earlier, you get a variety of other uh, business PBX capabilities, such as auto attendance um, and hunt groups and lots of other capabilities that allow you to really set up your business to left any, uh, the way that you, you need your business to work and, and to support that business. Um, some of our other competitors don't offer all of those capabilities in their Microsoft Teams offerings. So hopefully, sorry for being long-winded, but hopefully that answered that question. Yeah, and I think it's also worth clarifying, uh, you know, we're not selling Microsoft Teams at all. We're not selling licenses. Uh, you know, we're, we're here purely to talk about if you're using Microsoft Teams or you're interested in Microsoft Teams, how Netophone can enhance that solution. Uh, we happen to be big fans of the product and we love working with Microsoft. So we just want to show you how this can be, you know, leveraged in case you are using Teams or in case you want to use Teams or a platform like this. Um, you know, how you could use Netophone to make that solution even more powerful. So just wanted to clarify that. And this slide that we were showing before about the different licenses, again, was just to add the clarity of if you do go with Teams, just to know what additional add-ons you might need to enable that telephony, uh, you know, level to, to Microsoft Teams. So just wanted to clarify that for the people on the call. Okay, the, I think we can wrap this up with just some final thoughts um, about if anybody wants to have a demo for their own business or if we have partners on the call who wanna be able to demo this for their customers or getting more information or a more kind of in-depth look into the integration, um, what do what they need to do? Yep. Yep. So just real quick, again, just to recap kind of the offering here, uh, you know, this is just a quick overview. Uh, and again, we have a special offer that we're offering for the first 90 days, this free for every user on the, on the MS direct routing offering that we showed you earlier in, in the webinar. So if you're interested and would like to take advantage of this offer, uh, please contact us teams at netophone.com or partner at netophone.com. And, uh, you know, we can, we can help you. We'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction and get you set up. All right, and with that, I think we can wrap up the webinar. I wanna thank you all for joining us today. Uh, this will be a recorded webinar. If you want a copy, please reach out to us at, at any of these emails here, uh, and we'd love to hear from you. Again, thank you for joining. We hope this solution could be valuable for you and your business or your partners. Uh, and we will hopefully hear from you soon. Thank you all.